Okay, what you're looking at here is a prototype LED board that I designed and I'm building for a large installation art piece called Orbit. Each of these boards is 12 inches long and has 48 RGB Nietzsche LEDs and uh, each LED is individually addressable and each color is assignable up to 12 bit color so that's 36 bits of color information per LED. The controller board down here is an Atmel uh, AVR32 prototype board for the UC3A series. It's a 66 megahertz processor and uh, it has two hardware SPI ports and one of them is being used to drive the LEDs which are currently running at 12 megabit. The uh, driver chips on these LED boards are actually uh, able to handle 15 megabit so there's quite a bit of room for expansion to add more boards on a daisy chain. The video file is coming off a secure digital card. You just drop the AVI files on there and it finds them and will play them. The buttons will cycle between uh, different video files, so it'll take it a second to load it into RAM and then start executing it. And the other push buttons control like global brightness for the entire string of LEDs. Uh, the board has a serial port and an LCD for debugging, and there's uh, extensive debugging information that comes back and forth. Between the, between the controller and the CPU and the computer. So we'll just jump forward one more file here. The CCD on my camera unfortunately doesn't do the colors a lot of justice on this, but they're generally pretty bright and uh, nice saturated colors. So eventually these boards are going to be assembled in strings of six feet, which are going to be at the top of my art piece, and it's going to spin and actually do persistence of vision video. So that's the, the purpose of these. It's not really to run 30 frames a second, but run more like 400 frames a second. Okay, well I should have more detailed pictures up on my Flickr site if you're interested, and uh, thanks for checking it out.